Hello everybody and welcome to day two of building out my online store. It's about, well, almost 10 in the morning. I slept a little bit, got my coffee, and let's take a look at how many products I have in my store waiting for me. So I'm going to head over to Printify, select my shop. Boom! Look at all these products. How many pages? I've got 12 of 46 products created overnight. So that's not nearly as many as I thought I would have, which tells me something happened. Let's go over to make. And yeah, my colorful all print hoodie is all over print hoodie is no longer scheduled to run. That usually happens when some process fails enough times to stop it from happening. So it was working up to a point. Let's see what happened. I bet I know what happened. Actually, I only had a few bucks left in my, uh, image scaler. So I think I had like $2 in something. I bet it'll run out. So I bet the HTTP module or this module, the printify next to it, I bet one of those is going to fail. Let's check it out. Yep. When I click on the little error indicator next to the printify module, it says missing value URL. It is pulling that URL from the HTTP module right here. And if we click on the little magnifying glass right there, and let me move this over, go to our data output, and instead of getting a URL, it tells us right there, out of API credits. So I'm going to have to head on over to DeepAI, and I'm going to have to top up on my account. So let me do that real quick, and then I'll get my automations get going again. Let's top it up. Add credits. All right, well, I won't let you watch me do this. I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'll be right back. Now that I've topped up on my image scaler, let's run the process again. There we go. Completed with no issues. Let's check out what it made. Van Ruyen. It really likes the van for some reason in the last names. Is that like a European thing? I guess since I specified European in my prompt, my update to the prompt, by the way. I mean, I like that a lot. Now to modify, do a little curation, make sure the text is the way I want it. Space graffiti pattern, high detail, geometry, symbolism, this unique. Kangaroo pocket and ribbed hems. Diggity, 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 diggity. Let's save that. Publish. And now I'm publishing it to my store. So let's check some of these out. Also set up a... Uh, swim trunks workflow to test this out. I don't know what I'm going to actually keep in my shop yet. I'm not really marketing it or running ads to it or anything like that. It's not bad. I like it. Some artsy swim trunks. Van Dick, huh? The Van Dick hoodie. <laughs> uh, nice. Oh, man. I like that a lot. Whether or not you want to go nuts on this and just release thousands of products, you know, overnight, or whether you want to be like me, I really don't want to load my shop too much at first. Let's see how much that cost me last night. 588 is what I have spent with OpenAI. So as you can see, I've got about 46 products and I'm using the new Dolly and it cost me about six bucks to generate it there. And then with deep AI, let's see at five cents an image times about 46 products, probably about uh, $2, 20, 30 cents, something around there. I mean, for about eight, nine bucks, I've generated 46 products. And then in make, it doesn't really cost me anything. That's actually rewards to be paid to me on this screen. That's my affiliate page. So I've still got 19,461 unused operations out of the 20,000 I have a month for uh, 16 bucks a month. So I'll be good all day. I can run this all month at the speed that I'm running it and I won't need a bigger account or to pay for more processes. I should be good. Sound as a pound, baby. Alrighty. Well, on day one of building out my web store, 
I got the automations ready to go. I connected to all the various accounts. I generated products and got that going. This is now gonna be generating products while I do other stuff. I set up my website last night with Shopify. Then I purchased a domain. I connected the domain. And what was funny is I would have had probably several hundred products published before the domain was even ready to connect this morning. So that's kind of, it's just blowing my mind how fast you can have a, a full on e-com store ready to go. Uh, whatever you prefer that integrates with Printify is probably the best way to go. I choose Shopify because I think it's a very easy way to deploy a store and have it ready within three days. So that's my goal here is by tomorrow, the store will be ready to actually start promoting. And what I'm going to set up today, I've got my Shopify set up. Let's go over to it. I bought dot shop this time. Never bought that kind of a domain before, but let's see what it is. So yeah, this is my website so far and I'm not really promoting it, but we've got little image slider right here. And right now I've just got swimwear and hoodies. I might reduce down to just one. Everybody I've ever spoken to kind of advises to go super niche if you want to really be successful. So I might separate these and have a swim trunk store and then a hoodie store. Haven't really decided yet. Uh, the name of the game today, I've already set up most of the things within my Shopify. Let's see if I set up all of my legal stuff, which is under, I believe, settings, policies, and that's where you fill all of this in. And what's really cool here is you can basically just go from a template and then fill in your info, and then you've got all of your legal. And then I set up my menus under online store, navigation, and I always build out my footer if the theme that I've selected doesn't do it, and I put all of my policies down there in the footer. That way when we go to my shop, and we scroll down to the bottom, you can see there's all the policies in the footer. I'm already ready to accept payments. The store is ready to go. What I need to do today is focus on building out the automations that are going to be the bedrock of my marketing. Like I need to set up, um, I've got my email account that I want to use. What I need to do today, now that I've got my email set up, is set up email marketing in an automated way. And then I'm going to need to set up maybe social media marketing. Not quite sure how I want to handle that yet. But basically, I want to streamline the shop so that everything is set up for automation. And the last thing that I have to do is try to find a way to run ads. Since I'm restricted on Facebook, I'm probably going to have to stick to Google and other places like that. But the last phase will be finding some kind of unique and novel AI to automate that. Oh, and I almost forgot. I have a, a cool chatbot that I use, the Oramon chatbot. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to start training it. So the store will be live tomorrow and ready to push. I don't know if I'm going to have my chatbot ready immediately because it does take a few days to really properly train that thing. But you're going to watch me do it. Thank you very much and stay tuned. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you like this content. And thank you very much for using my links below when you sign up to the services that make this little shindiggity possible.